if I elevate the feet, all right, so I'm putting the feet on top of something that's a bit higher, then I'm putting them into slightly more hip flexion. And it's like, remember, if the knees are above the hips, the pelvis is going to roll back. Okay, so it's inverting them a little bit. Remember we talked about inversion, which is like the water bottle analogy? Like I flip them upside down. That's kind of what we're doing when you put your feet on top, on top of something that's even as small as, you know, the Airx pad, right? Something as small as that, right? Even like a book. Like if people put their feet on the book, that's just going to roll them back. And what that actually will do is it will unload the pelvis. Because you've got to think that if they're laying on their back with their legs straight and they're rolled forward, let's say they have an anterior tilt, that's where the pressure is right on my hand. And so that's going to push them into this counter rotation. They're not going to get the internal rotation. All that's going to be tense. Putting their feet on top of something is going to unload their pelvis.